My name's Helen Reid, I'm the Conservation Officer for Burnham Beaches and I've been here for nearly 30 years now um, and known the wood ants for all of that time. They're a very important part of the woodland that we've got here and a very obvious part of it as well. Probably to start off with there was a large piece of wood and the ants have built their nest there to start that off and it usually then decays. And often they're very big bits of wood, sometimes it's a tree stump where the tree has fallen over and they're building it there. Sometimes where we've done some habitat work on the trees in Burnham Beaches and we've created some of the decaying wood and then the ants will start building their nest there and they bring all sorts of things to the nest to make that mound, any sort of twigs and leaves and things they find on the ground. One of the main components of the nests in Burnham Beaches early in the year are the beech bud leaf scales. Um, so when, this, when the leaves open, the scales drop off onto the ground, a sort of chestnutty brown in colour and the ants pick those up and take them back for the nest. People often see the ants walking around in Burnham Beaches and see them actually bringing back all sorts of things to the nest. So sometimes you'll see several ants together actually carrying some big prey item. It's actually quite difficult to know sometimes exactly what they're going to be eating and what they're actually bringing back to the nest. So one of the interesting things that people notice about the ants is their very strong smell, which is a very acidic smell, when, particularly when you disturb them and they're producing this, this squirting, this acid, um, which is what their natural defence against predators. So not only can they bite things with their very strong jaws, but they also squirt the acid. The ants feed on all sorts of different things throughout the year, but their two main food sources are caterpillars and honeydew from aphids. So the caterpillars, they take, they walk up the trees um, and eat the caterpillars that are actually eating the leaves of the trees. Then their other main food source is honeydew, which they take from aphids. And aphids are feeding, again, in the tops of the trees, um, sometimes at bushes as well. And the aphids are actually taking the sap from the tree, so they're sucking the sap out of the tree. Um, but they take in far more sugar than they need, so they actually excrete honeydew, which is basically like concentrated sugar. And the ants um, come and take that from the backs of the aphids, um, and they take that into their stomach, so you see that the ants with really swollen abdomens um, coming back down into the nests to bring the honeydew back down again. Most people really hate the ants when they come to visit Burner Beaches, but if you look at them really carefully, they're absolutely fascinating, what they're carrying around, what they're doing, and lots of opportunities for people uh, to study and to look at. So you don't have to be a high-flying scientist, but you can actually just sit and watch the wood ants and learn about them and contribute to our knowledge of what they're feeding on and how they're behaving. Um, so lots of opportunities for people to, to contribute there. Wood ants have declined in recent years across the UK and there are various places where they're protected and people are trying very actively to, to look after them and encourage them. We don't have much of a problem at Burnham Beaches because I think our habitat management here is just perfect for them. Um, but the, the decline is probably due to lack of woodland management, so the woods have become very dense, very dark and there's not enough light for the wood ants. Um, so it's definitely worth people thinking about um, creating the right sort of habitat for them, um, creating the right sort of woodland and trying to encourage them so that they don't decline throughout the UK any further.